relationship, but it's complicated. <laughs> it's really not that complicated. What the status should say is, I'm in a relationship, but he hasn't figured out he's fucking my best friend yet. <laughs> it's much more appropriate. Another thing, ladies, could you please put all of your slutty pictures into one folder? <laughs> and call them, like, kitty pics or some shit like that. I mean, it would make it a lot easier when I'm Facebook creeping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You want me to see them, because you posted them, so it's, it's, it's like making it easier for both of us, you know? Number of ladies that hit me up about doing comedy tonight, five. Number of lips on my penis, zero. Yeah. You just gotta even that ratio out a little bit, actually. Actually, you know what? Fuck off. I think I got this covered. You guys can go back to being insane now. <laughs> women are fucking crazy, aren't they? Aren't women crazy? Mm -hmm. yeah. I was having sex with this girl the other night. <laughs> what? <laughs> sex? <laughs> what the? I think the phone stopped ringing. Yeah. <laughs> I was having sex with a girl the other night, right? And true story, every time I would make her come, she would burst out into hysterical laughter. Like, just a full-blown belly laugh, like we were watching Mall Cop. Like right? <laughs> at, least, at least it wasn't one of those evil, you know, those maniacal evil villain laughs, you know? I'm assuming that's what happens when you put it in the butt. <laughs> just a thought. I didn't believe her. I didn't believe her, and I thought maybe she was making fun of the action or something, you know, so... I flipped around, put on Marley and me. She was she was not lying. Because no one laughs through that movie. It's horrible. It's sad. You guys use AT&T? Does anybody have AT&T? Yeah. Yeah. Woo yeah. They have all, they call it the all over network. That's what they call the service. Yeah, all over. Like, as if you were in an emergency situation, your life would be all over. It fucking sucks. I can't make a phone call on it, man. My calls drop faster than the South Tower on 9 11. Oh! oh. Too soon? Too soon. It is too soon. You guys don't remember the ten, almost 10 years we spent with George Bush doing the OJ Simpson hunt for the real killers? Nobody remembers that. NASCAR, let's talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that shit still popular? Uh, yeah. It is? Second most popular. Oh, it's a bummer, man. Fuck. But at least the season's over, right? I think the season's over. So now all those hillbilly retards with those ugly jackets can go back to their fucking caves and beat their wives and shut the fuck up about it. Junior. Uh, if, anybody needs, if anybody needs any more proof in the theory of evolution, just go to a NASCAR race sometime. I'm surprised these fucking people don't still have gills. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm gonna get some education for you guys now, a little education. I was watching the news the other day, and they actually did this as a true story. They did a study, if the home football team wins a game, domestic dispute calls actually went down in that area for that city, so. For every Oakland Raiders loss, another wife or girlfriend gets beaten. Just win, baby. Just win, baby. <laughs> See? Now that slogan makes sense, right? <laughs> Commitment to excellence, not so much. They gotta work on that one a little bit. You ever see those people that have those insane phobias? You guys ever see that? Like, uh, they're, someone's deathly afraid of mustard or some shit like that. You guys know what I'm talking about? You see those people on TV? Tyra Banks. You guys know Tyra Banks? World famous, just beautiful supermodel Tyra Banks. She has one of those weird, insane phobias. She's deathly afraid of dolphins. Can you believe that's it's crazy, right? Because she's a fucking land mammal. Really? Just stay on land. Don't go near the fucking dolphins, you know? It's a completely nonsensical phobia. I mean, unless she was raped by Dan Marino when she was 11, it's just a stupid phobia. I'm sorry. It makes no sense. Because Dan Marino was a quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. 
Any the President Obama fans? Yeah, yeah, President Obama fans. That's fair. That's fair. I give that up. That's fair. Um, do you guys know he won the Nobel Peace Prize? Did you guys hear that? He won the Nobel Peace Prize. You know, which is weird. I mean, he's currently involved in the four military conflicts at a time, and he won the Nobel Peace Prize. That's that's literally like putting a picture of me on the cover of Men's Health in nothing but a speedo with a headline that said "Live to be a hundred. Here's how. That's my time, guys. Thank you. Look me up on Facebook, Facebook.com/slash Jason Raymond Lawson. I'll be back in two weeks. Thank you.